In this morning's Woman's Doctor, the Centers for Disease Control estimates that about one in every 500 women in this country carries the BRCA gene mutation, which is a mutation that increases your risk of getting breast cancer. But who should undergo genetic testing? Anyone under the age of 45 who has had breast cancer, if you have a male relative with breast cancer, or a family history of more than one relative with pancreatic, breast, or ovarian cancer. And joining us now with more information is Mercy Medical Center, Dr. Beatty. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for coming morning. in. My pleasure. <laughs> okay, this is super duper serious here. If you have family members who have uh, had breast cancer or any of those other types of cancers that we mentioned, get genetic testing. Yes, family members, uh, if they were young when they were diagnosed, had cancers in both breasts, or if there's a history of male breast cancer. Those breast cancers, or if there is a lot of family members with breast cancer, yes. What is involved in genetic testing? How does it work? So um, the actual test is just a blood test, but we always send people for genetic counseling. Um, it's just very important to understand what a genetic test means, what the results are going to mean. They take a good family history. And now there is not just the BRCA genes. There are up to 25 additional genes that can be tested for, which increase the risk of several different cancers. So the genetic counselors takes a history and they decide which gene panel you should be tested for. So you find out maybe you do have these various genes that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. What's then the next step? Extra early screening? So if somebody carries a BRCA gene mutation, they have an extremely high risk of developing breast cancer um, to the range of 60 to 90% lifetime risk. Mm. Um, options for that are very close screening with including MRIs in the screening or taking a medication to reduce your risk for developing breast cancer and then an option to have prophylactic mastectomies, that's removal of both breasts to reduce that risk. And that's what Angelina Jolie opted for. Correct. Right. And then with the BRCA gene mutation, there's an increased risk of ovarian cancer. Mm -hmm. And ovarian cancer, there's a between 20 to 40% risk. And the problem with ovarian cancers is there is no good screening study. Um, they're usually diagnosed when they are late. Um, and so we always recommend that patients uh, undergo a prophylactic removal of the ovaries, um, either by age 40 or once they've completed childbearing. All right, Doctor, thank you so much. Really good information to take under consideration. Thanks for coming in. All right, thank you. You're welcome. And if you have any other questions or you'd like a referral, just call 1-800-MD-MERCY.